Well, greetings, guys. Once more, we proceed with our spreadsheet for computer practice N4. Right in this lesson number five, lesson number five, we need to check uh, the following topics. We need to check how to insert a vertical and horizontal lines on your spreadsheet. Uh, how to hide and to hi and hide columns. The difference between hiding and deleting the column, the column, deleting the column or deleting the content of the column. And the last part one, the spreadsheet error reports. And finally, we need to check on printing. Uh, well, let me take you to my spreadsheet here, uh, starting with uh, the question of inserting vertical and horizontal line. Well, in this uh, border icon, you simply choose draw borders. You can see that your your pointer changes into a pen like this. As I'm dragging towards my right, I'm creating this horizontal line. As you can see, I can also create the vertical ones as I'm doing. see how simple it is to do and please take note to insert these lines also counts during your assessment so please don't ignore such instructions if you are expected to insert these vertical and horizontal lines make sure that you do it because they are marks assigned right i'm done with the vertical and horizontal lines i hope it's simple. Right, moving further, we need to check now uh, how to hide and to unhide a column. And at the very same time, we need to check uh, what impact does this issue of hiding the column have on your spreadsheet. Let me randomly select column C. Right, column C is selected. You simply right click and hide. Now you can see, I've got column A, B, D. Column C, it's now hidden. Does this issue of hiding the column impact your spreadsheet? No. Well, let me unhide this column. Now you can see that column C is back. Right, I have said to you, we need to check the difference between hiding the column and deleting. Right, now you know how to hide and also to unhide. Let's check what happens to your spreadsheet when you delete the column and when you delete the content of the column. Right, in order to delete column, see you right click. And delete now you can see this have an impact on your spreadsheet now we've got this uh, series of hash refs this hash ref is one among the spreadsheet error reports so you you, you must know that if you encounter uh, some spreadsheet error report reports which might be hash ref hash name hash value hash div and so on that is an indication that there is uh, something uh, which gone wrong uh, on your spreadsheet. So this hash ref, it's because I've deleted column C while uh, a number of columns here relied on columns. Let me reverse the mistake that I've made here, as you can see. Right now, I need to 
delete the content of the column. Now, I'm not deleting the, 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 the column itself, but right now I'm deleting the content of the column. So you simply select the column as I've done, then press delete on your keyboard. It does impact your spreadsheet again in different way now. Now have a look. Now, now it's it, it's no longer a hash ref. Now it's hash div. This hash div it's one of spreadsheet error reports. Right. Please take note. Hash div uh, simply appears when you calculate, or let's say when you you divide uh, uh, you you divide by zero. So the output is gonna be a uh, hash div like this. It indicates that you are, you are trying to divide with zero. Where is zero here? This is very important. You must know that a blank cell on a spreadsheet, it's regarded as zero. So a blank cell is regarded as zero. So that's the reason why our output now uh, here, it's HDV because it's like we are dividing with zero. Right, let me reverse this mistake I've made here again and moving on. Right, to proceed with our spreadsheet now, we need to check uh, the issue of printing. How to print a spreadsheet? That, that, that one is very simple. Let, 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 let's have a look here. So when you need to print your spreadsheet, okay, here it is. As you can see, when we are printing the spreadsheet for assessment purpose or examination purpose, in most cases, you print the spreadsheet that you have created as it is, which might be question 1A, I'm making an example. Printing number two, you print your spreadsheet with answers after working on formulas. That also includes the issue of inserting horizontal and vertical lines. That is printing number two. Printing number three, you display your formulas. You adjust your columns uh, so that it does not overlap to the next worksheets or to the next pages. Then you print. Printing number four used to be a chart or the so-called graph. So that, that, that is how we used to print our spreadsheet. Right, uh, while we are still busy on with printing skills, if you go to print, as you can see, it's one of one, meaning you, you, you can go ahead printing this because it fits on the, on the single page. But in addition, as you can see here, we've got print one-sided. Right, this print one-sided, print both sides. So this issue of, of printing both sides, for assessment purpose, it's forbidden. It's totally unacceptable. Don't allow your spreadsheet uh, to, to, to print on both sides of the, of the page. Always, it must print on one side. And once again, let's say, you want to print a certain portion, not the entire worksheet. Example, you want to print this only, the, the selected one only. All you need to do, you, you select just like this, you go to print, and before you click print, you go to active sheet here and, seek and select or choose print selection. So in, if I'm clicking print selection, take note what is happening on, on the preview page. As you can see, the content that is going to be printed is the one that I've highlighted. All right. Let me get back to the entire spreadsheet again, as you can see. So these are among uh, spread, uh, sp spreadsheet printing skills. And finally, the issue of orientation. That, that is where you choose whether you need your page to be portrait or you need your page to be a landscape. But always, before clicking print, make sure that there is one of one, meaning uh, you, you, you need to ascertain that uh, your, 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 your spreadsheet printing will fit on a single page. 
that is all in connection with lesson number five thank you